Hi everyone, in this video we're going to show you some basic formulas on Microsoft Excel. So let's say that we have our own camping gear company and we want to get the total, the month total for these four months and the average total for January, February, March and April. So we have right here our ID numbers, as you can see those ID numbers are for each employee. So we're going to go ahead and start getting the month total of January. So what we're going to do is we're going to click the cell that we want to input all of the information to where we're going to start our formula. So we're going to put the equal sign and then we're going to go into the C column and the first row which is going to be C7 and we're going to put in a C so that the formula knows that we're looking for information on the column C and now we typed in 7 so it's getting that first number C7 and if we want to add an additional number you just have to keep your finger pressed on the shift key and type in the next number. So the next one it's gonna be C7, C, C8 I'm sorry. So we're gonna go and keep that finger on the shift and we're gonna look for the plus sign. So once it's pressed we're looking for C8, type in C and then 8 and as you can see we have a different color highlighted on the number we're gathering information from. So this way you can see which number is which on the formula. So okay, right now we purposely selected C10 so it's like we jumped a number. So what we can do if we want to get the number before that you can just click it and drag it and it's gonna change automatically to C9 but we're gonna leave it on C10 and just hit enter. So once you hit enter you're gonna get the total of those three numbers that we added up. So right now if we highlight all of the numbers in January we see that we get an average account and a sum. So the sum is the total of all the four numbers for that month. So right now if we click on the month total of January we see on our formula bar the cells that are used to add up the month total. So we see that we have C7, C8 and C10. So on the formula bar we can use it to edit out the formula that we're using to sum all of these numbers. So if we want to include C9, we can just type that in in the formula bar and see. Now we have the total of all four numbers on January. You can also double click it and you can edit the formula right there in the month total cell. Okay. So clicking it again, just so you know, it's double clicking and you can get the formula. You can enter it and you can X out of it, cancel. So if you don't want to work with the formula on the cell, you can use those options. Or if you start clicking anywhere else in the cell and you start getting like different information that you don't want on your formula, you can just X out of it and no harm, no file, nothing's gonna have happen to your formula right there. So we just X out of it. So you can click type click the the cell escape or you can X out of it. So for this one we already got all of the months total for February, March and April. It would be the same process that we used in January. We just didn't want to bore you with it. So right now we're just going to get the month total for January. So we selected the cell that we want the information to be plugged into. So we're going to just press the key for equal. We're going to select 
um, C12, and then we're going to divide it by 4. So what right now we have the average month total for January. And if you want to double check it, you can always highlight the four numbers and check at the bottom of the screen to see if it's the correct number. So we have the average here. We can select or unselect it to show at the bottom of the screen. Just with a right click, you can change it. So right now for February, we're going to do the same, just hit the equal key, keep the, select the total, the whole numbers in February. You can do it one by one or you can just select all of them and then just keep that finger pressed on the shift button. You're going to divide it by four and once you enter, you're going to get the total average for that month. So it's going to look a little something like this. So make sure that we have all the information. We're just double checking that we have all of the cells and the rows that we want for this average month total. And we can also do it like this if you want. It basically depends on the preference that you have when using Excel. Hope, we hope that you liked our video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, please comment below.